Pokemon, uh, well, welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. In the last episode, we completed the Vast Pony Canyon. We ended up not having to fight Hapu yet. I don't know when that's going to happen. But we got here, and I stopped, and it's been a couple days, so sorry about that. I just haven't really wanted to make a video. So anyways, uh, we have a new member of the team, and I forgot to record when it evolved. So, you know what, it's whatever. We have Napoleon, the, uh, the Kamo'o here on the team now. I use both of my um, <clears throat> rare candies to get him to level up because he evolves it into Hakamao at 35 and then 40, eh, 45 into Kamao. So he's got Bulletproof which is really nice because it um, basically makes some ball and like projectile type moves not actually work. But it's got Sky Uppercut, Flash Cannon for Fairies, Dragon Claw, and Clanging Scales which is a special move. And, uh, yeah, it's a naive nature. Uh, it hasn't actually fought yet, but I, I gave a Dragonium Z. Because I that's, the I believe, the only Z crystal I have never actually used in a battle. Whether or not it was story or um, in a Wi-Fi battle. I'm pretty sure Dragonium Z is the only one I have never used. Alright, Ota of the Moon. It's going to make it nighttime, isn't it? It's not even as late as I normally record. I need to unplug you. This strong power of the moon, and I'd be flying between your back. I gotta find my mother. I have to tell her. I have to tell her how to feel, and then we'll find a way to stand against the crossman together. Thanks for that. The sun flew. It feels like we made it fit in my hand. I think I can play it. Yep, we're waiting until nighttime, I believe. Oh, never mind. Even though we're an ultra moon. Sure, works for me. Probably doesn't make a difference. Lily, you should stand over there. Indeed. So I wonder if it's actually gonna be Lunala that appears. Will you blow the moon flute? Sure. You should say play. I think we should wait until the moon has risen. Well, now we're gonna... Okay, works for me. That definitely didn't happen last time, or maybe it did, and I just forgot, <clears throat> but obviously Cosmoem is going to take the bag with it to go evolve. Alright, hello Nebby, how you doing? Nebby, thank goodness you're right, please don't ever do that again, you made me worry so much. I ain't never imagined something foods would give you so much power. Let you evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Mahina! No, no, my reading, never did it come across a hint, you'd evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Please, Unala. No. Nebby, please, I need to go to where my mother is. If we want to protect the law, there's no need for her to try to catch the Krasma on her own. Mahina P! <laughs> sure. I'm gonna finally follow mother after mother and. Oh, there's Guzma. Mr. Guzma, but you were. Mother as well? Well, that's an interesting development. And there it is. Obviously, they failed. You children. 
Run away. That thing is a monster. I will stop it. Let's do it. I'm ready to fight. Mother. That is Necrozma. It's an awoken flu narration repelled everything that came near it. Lily, run from this place. You can't do anything. I will protect her. I got the ace. Mahina P. <laughs> Yo, that is actually like absurd. That's so cool. Dawn Wings Necrozma. So I'm guessing I have to kill it. Oh gosh. We're almost everywhere. I don't think I can catch it. Do 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 just a kahuna on the shore to the laguna. Wait, this is the ones I feel. Sakonica! What? Stack attacka, whatever you call it. This one's a rare visitor. Perhaps it, perhaps it leaves us empty, you grandson. And tap a go go. He's coming to Corina just to battle. The other islands must be facing the same thing. I'm counting on you, my comrades. Lele Fini, but we did not see Bulu. We actually get to see what happens with these people. She's facing down Feramosa. He's facing down Guzzlord. He's just like, oh, not this shit. And then Zerkatry. That's actually perfect for her to deal with because she's a ground type user. It gets power whip by level up. Sweet dude. I had an Acrosma? I forgot I had one. Bam! Java, way to hang in there. Alright, let's go for the Malicious Moon Soul. Which actually makes straight up Oko, because if it's got the typing of Lunala, it will. But it'll, it'll it's at least Psychic type. That's what I, I do know that. Goodbye! GJ, get wrecked! I did it! Because it didn't say wild, so I don't think I could catch it. Javagur's level 48! Beautiful! I guess Incineroar was the perfect Pokemon I have up front. Whoa, it turned everything purple! Necrozma, the one that raises light this will, but still have a little his light, Vegeta! Necrozma wants to take the light as it once lost. What are we to do now? It seems like to me that Necrozma was also suffering. It seemed to hurt it to be without its light. You'd worry even for Necrozma, you're too kind, Lily. Far too kind. That's why you took Cosmog as well, isn't it? You foolish, sweet child. We will need your help. 
You need to be able to travel between worlds using legendary Pokemon's power, just as you were able to do. You presume much, Vegeta! Despite that's true, you're trying to take care of things in your own way! Should I praise your sense of responsibility as one in charge of direction of Pokemon, Vegeta? You egotistical Vegeta! Please, Captain Fico, leave it be. It is my sworn, it says! Sprawling with you will change nothing, Vegeta! There's not uh, something I'm more interested in pursuing. Some of those during battle just now, Vegeta! And the cross must seem distracted by you! But that Z Power ring you wear to be perfectly accurate, Vegeta! Seem to desire the light given out by the sparkling stone set within it! You mean a one Z crystals? It's true that there's an awfully large number of Z crystals that come in so far in our island challenge. Yeah, that's true. Even one just dumb cat and schooner is all we'll focus on one type. It's not enough power to fight with Solgaleo, but you do borrow its power to travel through the world to windmills. You've shown what you're capable of, though, by sending Lunala to this place. Perhaps you could ride upon her Solgaleo. This is you ride upon along Pokemon or Alola. We call it the Ultra Warp Ride. Oh, we call it the Ultra Warp Ride, Vegeta. You have to follow Vegeta. You must make for the White Warp Hole. You enter the Warp Hole, you find yourself another world altogether. Whoa. No, oh, we all share a Pokemon. You need to soak lose Pokemon power to try to reach the White Warp Hole? Uh, sure. Let's do it. Straight up. Sokaleo, aid us. Another cutscene. But he didn't appear from anything. Oh, I actually thought I was Soliera, but I'm wearing the I'm wearing the the suit. Whoa, that is cool. Cause it's literally basically the same cutscene as it was when you originally went through the thing. With Ultra Warp Ride, you can ride in Soglio to travel through the Ultra Wormholes. Try to reach wormholes that lead you to other worlds. Use the system motion sensors to control Soglio's flight path. Tilt the system up, down, left, and right to control it. If the system's gyroscope gets stuck out of alignment and isn't reacting properly, Move back to a neutral position and press the A button to reset. So Leo needs energy to fly the Ultra Wormhole. Absorb round balls of energy to fly faster. This will allow you to travel farther. If you run into electrifying obstacles, you will lose speed. This big hole is a warp hole. If you get too near one, you'll be drawn toward it. Different warp holes lead to very different worlds depending on their color. A flashy warp hole looks is based on how rare it is. There are four levels of rarity in total. Further away and flashier, the better odds of meeting rare Pokemon. Absorb more and more energy and try to head for faraway warp holes. What? Whoa. Ah, uh, my gyroscope is being really weird because my DS is entirely turned sideways. Come on! Dude, I, I literally hate motion controls, though. Oh, I missed the wormhole. I wanted to go in that one. Let's see what's in here. I want to see... This is so cool! Seven hundred and eighty-six light years from where I were, where I was. This is like flying on Latios, Latios. This is so cool, dude. There's a shadow here. An Altaria. I wonder if there's actually something special about these Pokemon you can find in the wormholes. Oh my gosh, you're level 60! Yes, I got in a quick ball! And Soul's gonna level up to level 48. Altaria's not even in the regional decks, that's interesting. Ah, well you're a male, I can't name you Megan Fox. Cause I had shiny, I had a shiny competitive, uh, Altaria named Megan Fox. I think it was also Mega. Whoa. A genius wing. Dude, this is so cool. Oh! Do I have to watch the whole cutscene again? Thank you. So, I'm looking for the white, white wormhole, aren't I? What they said? Those are blues. Uh, yellow. Green. Yellow again. Ah! Blue. I got sucked in the blue one. The thing is, turning left to right is the issue, is it doesn't pick it up. 890. 93 light years. 
Whoa! What's it gonna be, I wonder? Barbarical! Alright. I didn't actually want to fight, I wanted to run. Um, I should have thrown a quick ball at it. It's gonna kill me. Ugh. Okay, good, I got away from it. Oh! I'm stupid, that's because you don't turn, you just move it side to side. Okay. Cool. My gyroscope isn't messed up. And there's the white wormhole. A bit, finally. What?! Oh, man! Alright, let's go. Into the white wormhole. I need... What? I literally got sucked into that. I couldn't move. It seems that the Cosmos not in this world. Oh, no kidding. It's a Baudon, a female one. I hope the Ultra Recon suit is something you can just wear whenever you want to, because I really like how it looks. Okay. But I do hate I have to move it side to side, because that uses up a lot of space on my, on my desk. I mean, I feel like actually turning the 3DS would be better. Alright, can I go into the- there we go! Finally it'll let me go into the white wormhole. Is this Ultra Megalopolis? Wow! Yo, that is so cool! Whoa, Lillian person appeared riding on Sokolio's back! Tell us, what should we do? You think we should investigate her? Remain calm, Zossie. Human from the world of Alola, Necrozmas claimed Lunalo's power and is now atop the Megalo Tower. People here have fled in Doris to safety. They fear Necrozma will fly into another rage, as it did when that woman Lusamine appeared. Necrozma will reclaim its true power now it is stolen the light from another. It cannot control the light, and so Necrozma only suffers more. We use the power of our technology to try to quiet Necrozma, whilst using it to provide a small amount of light to ourselves. Both Necrozma and our own people have lived long years in darkness, and should never have been living a life we did not wish for. Human of Alola, will you not stop Necrozma and bring the light back to the world in Alola? Necrozma lies ahead, you'll find him at the top of the Megalo Tower. Whoa! This is crazy! I wish that there was a map on the bottom screen of the Megalopolis rather than just continually showing me the altar. I can't- I literally can't do anything but go in the Megalo Tower. Be careful, people of Alola! Necrozma is really strong! People? Person of Alola. Necrozma is really strong. There's nothing else we can do. We can no longer control with the technology. We have no hope of defeating it in battle. Well, you know, Cosmo once filled our world and now shine upon us to give us energy to many throughout Ultra Space. Yeah, and Cosmo is amazing. That's why if you could help but comment down that it shared its light with everybody again like it used to. Please, you gotta help it. I don't have a choice. I should have put some silly elevator music here just to lighten the mood. Just imagine there are just their totem stickers here. <laughs> it's like, Elema, how'd you get here? I should have saved, just in case. So is that what? Oh my, what the hell? What is that? What is that? Okay, um, this is gonna be... LIGHT! I don't know what it's supposed to sound like. It's a dope theme, too. What is this? It's an acrosma, but... Why does it look like that? It's like pulsating. 
I don't think I outspeed it, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, you're level 60, dude. Photon Geyser? Well, I couldn't even tell you what type that was. Alright, I I think I gotta trust Java and Darkest Lariat. Am I supposed to am I supposed to be this underleveled for this fight? Okay, this might kill me. He barely survived last time. Man, I need a one HP survival or something, man. Soul can probably take an attack. Oh my gosh, dude. Is it a psychic type move? But what type is this thing? So if you could like clutch out again on one, you did. Thank you very much. And that was a crit too, just rubbing it in the wound. All right, if you could burn it, that'd be. Oh my gosh, I did nothing. It's a dragon. It's either dragon water or grass, and dragon's most likely the answer there. Well. It's a dragon, though. I kind of want to look up what type Photon Geyser is. Wow, sorry about that. It is psychic. Okay, um, man, you don't even have anything good to hit him with. That's the issue. Judy might outspeed. I have no idea what type this thing is. It, it's obviously a dragon, but Photon Geyser is a psychic type move. It might be Psychic Dragon, which is a really cool typing. Judy! Ugh. Dude, I'm on it. I really don't know what to do. Dragon Pulse does not is not super effective, so I may survive it. Well, Java tucked it out no matter what. Malicious Moonsault, here we go. We'll see if it's actually a Psychic type. All, all three of the main legendaries are Psychic. Jump on the giant light beast. Good job, Java. I might try to stall out the burn, or see what I can do. I might just heal up. I did buy max potions, though, because I kind of expected I need them soon. Okay, you're gonna go for power, gem. Can you survive it, Java? Nope. Okay. But, uh, the more damage I can make it take from the burn would be the easiest way to take it out. Because then I can revive Judy and kill it with a quick attack. I literally have to use a max revive on Judy right now. Because if my entire team is gone... I didn't actually up his... Affection, I should have done that. Alright, I do believe from this point Judy can kill with a quick attack. Come on, Judy, this is up to you. Survive on one, please. Mmm, Judy, you're the beast! Perfect, because the burn's gonna take it out. Hey, we beat Necrozma! Oh my gosh. 6300! I didn't even level her up. Ultra Necrozma. That's what this Pokemon is. Whoa! It's light. Hey, new Luna Lunala is back. That was an interesting series of events. The Cosmo lost its light, disappeared into another world. Hey! Do I actually get it now? I don't know how long it will take. Someday, perhaps we'll also be able to bathe in light again in our world. Thankful to you, human of Alola, to you in the light of your Zikosos. 
When Necrozma managed to quiet, yes, you might call it Ultra Necrozma. It's shown with such a blinding light as it used to only lose the light all over again. Seems to have fled to Alola now. Even though I was also returned home as it was freed. Great deal harder request and filled our dearest wishes. He's so cute, Poipole. Oh, what's Poipole acting up for now? Hey, Dose, do you think maybe, maybe Poipole is curious about this alone person too? Let me give this Poipole to you. It's a sign of my gratitude and also to grant the wish Poipole itself seems to hold. Will you take it with you? I'd be happy to. Let's see what type. Is it just pure poison? It's pure poison. All right. It cackles wildly as so it sprays its opponents with poison from the needles on its head. All right, we're going to name you Cooler. <laughs> um, let's check you out, actually. I want to see what you're all about. You have a neutral nature with Beast Boost, Charm, Venom, Drench, Nasty Plot, and Poison Jab. It's a very even Pokemon. Oh, well, you ran in swiftly if you want to go back to world, or you would like to ride in Lunala instead. Is Lunala the specific thing? Is it, is it like you encounter specific things? I'll try Lunala, I suppose? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. They're both the same. But she said, let me know when you want to change. Space Vagina. <laughs> well, in 35 minutes, I fought Necrozma twice and got a Poipole. So that's pretty nice. Most impressive, you throw us a sea power ring. I feel the horse folks are gonna see power ring even as we speak, Vegeta. Thank you very much, trial goer. Well, you facing across my own sword megalopolis, there's some things we found about the ores of Philolola. For instance, there's a force to contain and across my emitted a powerful light. The light is what you call ores. My eight must have passed through the ultra wormholes, rain down through Alola. Indeed, this might be a trial set has got the unique properties, Vegeta. Yes, both the Z power and the Z moves of the ores of the totem Pokemon are powers gifted you by Necrozma. A trainer's gift is yourself, maybe we'll return the light to Necrozma without sending it into another rage. Thanks for your help, we will continue to share our soul Galea with you freely. You should be able to meet many uh, amazing Pokemon by using Ultra Warp, World, War Warp Ride to explore different worlds. It would not be a bad idea to continue to receive a lot of love and sea power. It's not, there's much for us to he here to learn, no doubt, Vegeta. I would like to travel low as a train along my Pokemon partners. Bye, Vegeta. Lilia. Lily. Seems you're right. I right to feel hurt by suffering a Pokemon. Right to take Cosmog away. No, I just the one who really did everything was Lily and not me. Hey, you should take these beast balls. Put out your hand. Just three? Special Pokeballs we capture, we develop with the Ultra Recon squads help to capture Ultra Beasts. No, I'm just leaving them in the hands of an trainer like you. That's like stolen Cosmegas. No, Lunala is weak. We'll take it back to Paradise to care, uh, uh, to care for it. Lily, you will help also. Of course I will. Maybe when you bring out the best nose, helps you find the best in yourself, huh? The big bad boss who beats you down. I think I got the voice wrong. I'm Olivia. No one can do anything to help. I was always on your side, and you and your Pokemon side. Finally got the chance to talk to my mother about a lot of things, and I understand a little better now. Well, you saved Zek, then Krosma, Zekrom, no. And the people of the world, all of us too. Give us all the chance to smile again. Okay. Going back to paradise for a bit to help never recover, but... Lilia, do your best in your island challenge. I thought Mina had a trial. Speaking of which, there she is. That's kind of strange. Lily, Alola, Alola. Got curious because saw the altar go dark. I guess you take care of that, huh? I'm not going to let you take it to good parts. I'm a captain too, you know? Why don't you see you be my trial? You ready to come by my house? It's in Seafolk Village. Oh, I guess you can just come with me. Let me know if you want to go together. Sure. Let's get the show on the road. Just saves me from having to fly. It's no biggie. I think we have enough time to do Mina's trial, whatever that entails. I may not have even needed to heal our team. They may have been all healed up already. Okay, Mina, let's do it! 
I didn't think you were really taking my trial. You did come to my house, like I said. I mean, you brought me here, and then I went in here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Let's try Mina begin. Okay, so what am I doing? I guess I gotta tell you what to do. You have to battle me. All right. <laughs> Simple enough. You only have three Pokemon, man. Lead out with a moil. All right. I'm under leveled again. She's her Pokemon level 51. That don't hurt. I was gonna say a burn would be super nice right now, but I didn't need a burn. I just one shot it. Good job, boy. Boy, Java is definitely a girl. Next up is a Grand Ball. Is it gonna? Is it just like a clever thing where she has three fairies that all have intimidate? I don't know any other fairies that have intimidate besides obviously Snubble. Um, I might see how much damage I do, and I might just end up switching out anyway. No, that's not terrible, but that's gonna hurt. I don't have a fairy resistance on the entire team, dude. Maybe it'd be good to actually bring Poipo along. But I suppose I don't really have to fight many fairies. Alright, we'll send back in Judy, and Judy can finish this guy off, because Gastrodon got knocked out. <laughs> ah. Anyway, there it goes. Sweet. Alright, what's up next? Level 48 for Judy. Next up is a Rabombi. Okay, that one, I can tell you that definitely doesn't have, um, whatever. And I really wish I gave Pikachu, or Raichu, the Alolium Z, Low, Raich, Low Raichium, whatever it is. So I can hit it, this thing super hard with a freaking massive attack. You out, actually outspeed me. So that's a fit. I forgot! Psychic was weak to bug! I also didn't expect... Actually, I don't think Pollen Puff is uh, physical as I just said it was. Alright, so if you're going to use a Bug-type move... I mean, I don't have anything good for Bug-types. I have a half-dark-type. That's my Fire-type. Oh, that actually prevents Bulletproof, too. Nice. Let's go for Flash Cannon. She's going to use her Fairy and Z. Oh, man. Twinkle Tackle. Alright, hang in there on one HP, dude. Nope. <laughs> and there we go. Rumpy goes down. We beat her. Paralyzed Hacks goes level 49. I'm shocked at your strength. It looks like you have some kind of island challenge. This man's beat me. I'll give you this pink petal as proof. What? That's a good start. I only just begun my retrial. I have to go to all the captains to get a pedal from each one of them. So you want me to battle everyone? Wow. I guess we'll have to see. I'm gonna go first probably chase down Ilima. And see if that's what I have to do. I do actually wonder though if this is something that I need to... If I actually have to battle all of the captains? Or if it's, I guess, easy? Sure. Um, I don't know. This is just kind of a on-the-spot sort of thing. This is not easy. This is, like, elementary. Not bad. Perhaps it was too easy. Oh, yeah, it was. I guess we'll try normal. I mean, why not? So is this literally going to be the same thing I did for... Uh... I messed that up, but it's okay. This is literally so stupidly simple. I just do that. And I made it way more difficult than it could be. So the hard puzzle is going to be... Ooh. Okay. Now that's an actual challenge. I did it. What? 
They all need to be facing down, but okay. Oh. That wasn't actually, that was simpler than I expected it to be. I prepared a super hard puzzle. Well, let's do the super hard. Oh, do I only get like a couple tries? Or is it literally just gonna reset me whenever I made a mistake? Okay. Who are you really? You're completely just a special gift for you. Thanks. Maybe you can take the puzzles and you can watch the little... They're just the best. Okay. I mean, the fact is that the hard ones, I think, were kind of simpler than the simple ones. I don't know, because they... I think they just tried to trick you more, and it's literally they only took a couple moves each. But... That's not important. I want to go talk to Sophocles. Maybe next time we can battle. What do you mean? Do I have to go in order or something? Or is that like a post-game thing? The flag is still over by... What's her name? So maybe that's a post-game thing? I'm going to go talk to Mina once more. And then after that we'll probably end the episode. He's usually up on Route 2, that's where Verdant Cavern is. Okay, gotcha. Alright, well, we'll deal with that in the next episode. So, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, like, especially in the next episode, we'll probably track down the captains to get the pedals. So, pretty cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.